a lot of changes are happening in the world right now because of coronavirus. What we are allowed to do when we are in the community is very different now. And the community looks very different to what it did before. In this video, I would like to explain to you some of the ways that our lives are going to be different because of coronavirus. Because of coronavirus, we must all practice social distancing. Social distancing means keeping a safe distance away from other people who we do not live with when we are in the community. You must stay at least one metre away from other people who you do not live with when you are in the community. One metre is about the same as the distance from your nose to your fingertip when your arm is stretched out. Keeping two metres away from other people is even better. Two metres is about the same as three big steps. But if you can only keep one metre away from other people, you must do other things to stay safe like wearing a face mask. This might seem a bit confusing, but it is important that you follow this guidance because it will keep you safe. If you feel unsure about this guidance, then talk to your carer. So, if you are in a shop or if you are talking to someone on the street, you will have to stay a safe distance away from other people. When you are in the community, you might notice that other people stand far away from you or they might step away from you if you are close to them. They are not doing this to be rude, but they are doing this to keep us all safe. If you think that someone is standing too close to you when you are in the community, it is okay to ask them to step away or to move away yourself. You might notice that public places like shops have put up signs like these to help us all to remember to keep a safe distance away from each other. Because we must all stay a safe distance away from each other, we cannot hug or touch other people who we do not live with. It might feel a bit sad that we cannot hug or touch other people who we do not live with, but it is important that we don't because it will keep us all safe. Another thing you might notice when you are in the community is that people are wearing face masks like these and gloves like these. The government have said that we have to wear face masks when we cannot keep a safe distance away from other people and when we are using public transport like trains, buses and taxis. These face masks and gloves might look a bit strange and scary, but they will help to keep us all safe. Something else that is different about our lives because of coronavirus is that if you feel ill, you might be asked to have a swab test taken. If you would like to learn more about swab tests, then watch the video called Having a Swab Test Taken. 
if you are asked to have a swab test taken, then remember it is just to keep you safe and well. Another thing that is different about our lives now is that if you feel ill or if you have been in contact with someone who has been sick because of coronavirus, you might be asked to stay at home for two weeks and not go out. This is called self-isolation. If you would like to learn more about self-isolation, then watch the video called I Think I Have Coronavirus. In this video, I have talked a lot about the things we can't do right now. But actually, there are lots of nice things we can still do. For example, we can meet up with other people who we do not live with outside in groups of six, but we must all keep a safe distance away from each other. Places like shops, pubs and restaurants have opened up again, but we must all keep a safe distance away from each other when we are inside. If you would like to learn more about keeping a safe distance away from other people when you are in shops, then watch the video called How Shops Are Different. A lot of changes have happened in the world because of coronavirus, but this won't be forever. Places that are still closed like gyms, swimming pools and nail bars, will open up again. We don't know when our lives are going to be like what they were before coronavirus. This, these changes might feel a bit scary, but that's okay. Everyone is a bit worried at the moment, but we are all in this together. These changes might feel a bit confusing. If you feel confused about these changes, then talk to your friends, family or carer.